27. Identify the hybridization of the central atom in each of the following molecules and ions that contain multiple bonds. All right, and then we have CLNO, and they do give us a hint. They say that the nitrogen is the central atom. So whenever we want to find a hybridization, the easiest thing to do is to always draw the Lewis structure first. So this will kind of be like a review. We have a whole playlist just designated to how to draw Lewis structures. So if you need a bit more of a review, you could always check out those playlists on the channel. But we're going to do kind of like a quick inversion because then we got to get to the hybridization. So they do tell us that nitrogen is in the center. So we have N in the center. And what kind of N is that, Christina? Come on. There we go. And seems like the nitrogen has the chlorine and the oxygen bound to it. So for Lewis structures, you don't really have to get the geometry too right. So I'll just write it in a line. Now let's draw the um, valence electrons, right? Chlorine is in group 7A or 17, so it's got seven valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. Nitrogen is in group 5A or 15, so it's got five valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five. And then oxygen, one group over, 6A or 16 has six valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We are going to always draw single bonds first and then check the octet. So dot to dot, single bond, dot to dot, single bond. And then we will check for octet. This chlorine already has the octet, two, four, six, eight electrons. So this single bond is good, but the oxygen has two, four, six, seven valence electrons. It wants one more. So that's where the double bond comes in. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Now we just want to find that hybridization of the center atom. And just like we said, the center atom is the nitrogen. So when you're finding hybridization, just know that hybridization, there's a total of five of them. It's your orbitals that are coming together to form the overlap of your bonds. So that's why they, they have letters such as S, P, and D, because it's coming from your S, P, and D orbitals. But now hybridization, the easiest way to know this is just know how many letters are in the hybridizations. So for example, S, P, 2 has one S and two P's. That's a total of three letters. And if you tackle on one extra P, now you're at S, P, 3, that's a total of four letters. And the number of letters always corresponds to the number of things. So if you got three letters, you got three things going around the atom. If you got four letters, you got four things going around the atom. And one thing is classified as either a single bond, so one line, one double bond. So even though you see two lines, it's still classified as one thing. You got a triple bond going on there and one lone pair. So let's see what's going on with the nitrogen. Well, the nitrogen has got a single bond, so that's one thing. It's got one double bond, even though there's two lines, that's just one thing, so a total of two things. It's got one lone pair, so that's three things, and I don't see anything else. I can't count these lone electrons because that's not to nitrogen. So this one's got three things. And then you say three things, three letters, that is SP2. And the nitrogen would be sp2 hybridized. And there's the answer to the question. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. I believe in you. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. And I will see you in the next lesson. Okay, bye-bye.